So we're at 40, which is relatively close to the shop, 30 or 40 miles. So is Jim Alley in Dallas. When you can find a local Jeep that hasn't left our area, especially when there's been garage cab, you're talking rust free, which saves us hundreds of hours of paintwork. We are definitely buying this one. Morning, Junior. Good morning, Dennis. How are you? Doing great. Getting some coffee. <laughs> Getting ready to go. So we are uh, I'm stealing Junior from the shop today. He's one of our top techs. His dad's been here for 35 years. Junior's been here for over 20 years. Why? Sean P's on the road. He went all the way to Turnkey to pick up our two Copos. He's on his way to Barrett Jackson. James left today with a mm -hmm. full load, a Texaco sign, the F-350 truck, and a scrambler heading to Barrett Jackson. Alex is overwhelmed with classic cars, <laughs> as are you. Yeah, yeah. But we got a great lead on a local CJ that the person's owned for, I believe, about 33 years, That's which right. is what we we're supposed to be doing all the time, right? Yeah. Our CJ mm -hmm. stuff. So the junior's going to help us. Very unusually optioned Jeep. It looks to be rust free, original paint. It's going to be worth the trip. So get your carpet Joe. Let's go get a special CJ. We're in Forney, Texas. It's windy, and this is the antique capital of Texas. You ready, Junior? Yes, sir. Come on in. How are you, sir? Good. How you doing? Great. Clinton? Yes, sir. <laughs> Dennis Collins. Nice to meet you, Dennis. You too, sir. Appreciate y'all coming in. Is Ugo? Hey, Ugo? Hey, Ugo and Zach. Zach? How you doing? Beautiful house. Thank you. Wow. Been here a while. 87. 87. 40, 40 we had a uh, McDonald's that was about okay. it for a restaurant. So. My daughter likes to remind me that I'm older than the Big Mac. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard that one yet? Not yet. <laughs> you guys ready for your quick factor meal? Oh yeah. So you guys have watched over the years our one of my favorite things, I think you guys too, is we work incredibly hard when we're traveling run a ton of miles, and some of these days it takes us all day to load a car, and we generally don't take a break, yeah. and that's when we earn our cheat meals, right? Mm -hmm. And how often do we eat a cheat meal? Once a week. Yeah. And hopefully you guys are lucky enough to see it, and lately we're doing the all-in because we've earned it now. Also super proud of you guys for taking care of yourself and only doing the cheat meal once a week. How much weight have you lost, Alex? I've lost close to 60. James? I've lost exactly 60. I've lost 25. Factor that in to weight loss. What are you guys having today? You got the welder shots too. Ooh. Take one of those for sure. You want to start off or end with it? I'm going to start off with it. How about you, Alex? Apple. You got apple, spinach, kale, and lemon apple ginger. You guys both took lemon apple ginger. Oh, yeah. Lemon Look ginger. <laughs> Looks like I'm doing apple <laughs> ginger lemon with cayenne pepper. Ooh, I heard that's good for you. Pepper. It's very good for digestive. I actually use that in my eggs in the morning. Spicy. I'm doing you loaded can. bacon and spinach shredded chicken. Forget frantic lunch preps and rush dinners. Factor's two minute meals are your secret weapon in the new year. Fuel up fast with restaurant quality meals all delivered right to your door. The cool thing is we are always running 100 miles an hour around here. Right guys? That's right. We can roll in. We got the fridge full of Factor. Pop one of those in. Fresh, never frozen. And you know what? When you order it, you get your 50% off. It's cheaper than and you guys know this, yeah. mm -hmm. it's cheaper eat than fast food. Yeah. Yes, so I keep you guys away from fast food during the week. We can eat fast food when we're out of town, but hopefully not fast food because we like to eat a lot. That's right. Faster go to the dry drink, right James? That's right. And way better taste. Let's got this down. So what I've been doing lately, because of all the anticipation, just do my wellness show. I'm waiting and you guys do too. I feel about the same. That's you feel the same? <laughs> Just old. Me too. <laughs> old and happy. <laughs> when things get hectic, Factor is flexible. Change your order up every week with plans for 4 to 18 meals per week. 
or pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. Head to factor75.com or click on the link below and use code COFFEEWALK50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. Boom, it's ready. Only two minutes for that. I've had this one many times. Bacon shredded chicken. Give her a little stir since it was already stirred anyways. I think I've shown this one before, but the reason why is because I really like this one. There's Best Buy right there, guys. There it is. <clears throat> Uh, I've had plenty of the Big Mac. Well, there he is, man. That's the, that's the cherry. I tell you, right off the bat, when you sent me pictures and the garage looked like this, I'm thinking, yeah. this guy takes care of his. Stuff. I do, I do, yeah. That means a lot to In me. Fact, my concrete guy that poured my slab for this add on, he said, You're the only guy I know that waxes his lawnmower. I <laughs> <laughs> my lawnmower. Well, it looks like this has been no. well taken care of. It has, uh, really. It hasn't hardly seen any daylight. It spent most of its life inside. Okay. Or under a carport. When I bought it from Sam, my buddy, uh, he had a carport he kept it in. Of course, it came with the rag top. Mm -hmm. The rag top was this color here. In fact, that's this. So it's nothing. Came from Jim, Jim Alley. Alley. Look at that. He bought it new. Jim Alley. Love that. So I, I, had, I found that with my extra parts. Okay. But anyway, Sam. Um, he got knee surgery, couldn't work the clutch, so he said, hey, I told him since he bought it, if you ever get rid of it, call me. And he did. So that was the story when I bought it in 92 or 91. Yep. From we him. actually ran the records on this. So you're the second owner you've had it since 91. Yes. I had put tires and wheels on it because he had put tires and wheels on it when he bought it and took the originals off because okay. they were, back then everything was, it wasn't radial. You know, right. it was the, uh, but it had good just, year regular radials on it. Yeah, just a, just a regular old tire. It was mud grip, but regular old tire. He put a set of wheels like this, but with his white spoke. And two or three years ago was when I bought these and put on it. Because they just sat here and rock. You know, it sits in the shop. Well, so and the, these are the second wheels and tires, in other words. And they're, they're okay. brand new. Uh, I would drive this thing about 200 miles a year. Did it just have the baseball white steel wheels? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it didn't even have the wagon wheels. No. Okay. No, good. they were they were just you know just pretty pretty uh, vanilla package when he bought it. Right. And I found an old Jeep that had had been totaled, and I took the air off of it, to put factory air on. Okay, it. so that's how this got the AC. That's how it got AC. Okay. So I did that. And the paint looks it's, original. It's original paint. Now okay. those doors. Uh, he bought a, the top and the doors after he had bought the thing new. Okay. Came with the rag top. Uh, it's had, he had put a gas tank uh, gauge, you know, the sending unit in okay. the gas tank. Very common. And he wrote that on the hood. That's the reason I know that. Okay. Um, other than that, man, that's it. Just change oil. I used Mobile One man, oil. So the body looks amazing. I would try to change oil about once a year, whether I drove it or not. And of course. So when we initially walk in and just look at the Jeep, you could tell that it was a base model. Number one, there's no frame cover. Number two, there's no rocker moldings down the side. So almost all these Jeeps were somebody special ordered it the way they wanted it because this has got a six over it, it's not a four cylinder, so he checked that box. So you could you can see that on the emissions tag on 258, mm -hmm. and also if you walk up to the VIN, you can actually tell a lot from a Jeep VIN. You got J is Jeep and C is the 4.2 liter 258 and M is the T4 manual transmission. Okay. Now it's not going to tell you that AC or not from the factory, but you could tell it was a soft top only because there's no cut-ins on the dash. Um, and then you got your D up here for 83 because okay. 80 was A. Um, I what is this, un unusual? I put on it, so. You put these on? Yeah, I put those. But so. they're off of a factory. Yeah, Jeep. that's a factory size. That wrecked Jeep that I found had those on it. So uh, this makes no difference to me or neither here nor there, but when you when you walk up to one that has a, a colored body plug right here, it has this. Mm -hmm. This Jeep left the factory with no top. Okay. So got the top it. he okay. got Jim Alley put on it. Okay, then he got it. Very common. Okay. Uh, 
the thing is, when people were ordering these Jeeps, which I, I believe he definitely sat down to order this Jeep because it's so oddly optioned, <laughs> you had to check every box. So when you left, you just assumed it was going to have a top. Well, it shows up, well, where's my top? It's mm -hmm. like, well, you didn't tell us you wanted a top. Mm -hmm. And just like, okay. there, there's no rear, there's probably, he never had rear carpet in it either. No, no, and, and he was a big guy too. He set the, the seat, he remounted the seat with some extensions to get it back, just some little flat pieces of plates. Okay. So what else is very unusual is this Jeep's got low backs. So he was, like I said, a big guy. He did that to get that seat back. Okay. And then that's when his knee gave him so much trouble, he just gave up on it. And, you know, said just, you, you want it, you got it. And I, I took it. Floors are really good. Other thing exciting about me when you sent the lead in is. Yeah, the, the only time this thing's been wet is when it's been washed. Really, I, I never would mud it or anything. Okay. Um, so this is fifty-five thousand miles. Yeah, they're about. And um, you and you bought it with twenty-five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And like I said, uh, a lot of those were tow miles. He had that tow bar on it, and he would put this thing behind his pickup and pull it about two hundred fifty miles down south to a ranch he had. And if he shot a deer, he had a little rack on the back that he'd just throw them up on it and. That's just pick up out of the cactus, you know. And I did notice that on here, mm -hmm. which is great because we do buy. I, I bought Jeeps that had thirty thousand miles on it. The guys like Dennis, I didn't drive it more than three. Yeah, they took them a long ways to their lease, a long ways back, you yeah. know, whatever. And that's a lot of those twenty-five thousand versus him towing it. I never towed it. I, my miles are just short trip, short trip miles through there. the course of the twenty-some odd years I've owned it. So. Another thing that happens in you know this, Junior. A lot of times when we see these Jeeps with short miles, it's because they don't have power steering, yeah, and they're a bear to drive. Yeah, it is. It is, isn't it? I, you know, in fact, one time I did take you off. Steering. <laughs> I took off on a trip. Was going to go hunting, and I said, "I'll just take the Jeep." I got the Cleveland. I turned around and come home. Yeah, that's that's. Why. I had a stomach. I still have a, a hernia issue. I, I turned around and came back home. I said, "Killing me." Well, one of the first things Junior will be doing will be putting power steering on it, right? Yeah. That's one of the reasons we buy But I, I, you know, that was my deal. Uh, if I kept it, my plan was to go get someone to convert this fuel injection, you know, get rid of the carburetor. We do that daily. Put power steering on it. And the grandkids, you know, they'd love to have this, but this is not, these aren't kid cars. Yeah, I agree. They're not for kids. This, this is, is also neat to see uh, the original unpainted hood hinges, which commonly get changed. Now, he added a little cruise control setup that was an aftermarket. Yes, yeah, I saw it too. That's probably what you're looking, seeing yeah, that, it's that extra it's wire. Yeah, it's covering the trim tag. And uh, that's just mounted up under the, just the wire going up to the uh, blinker. Blinker. Yeah, and it's just clamped onto the blinker. And it, I don't even think it works. I've never even used it. It's this thing right here, you know. Well, we it's just taped on with a piece of We'll pull the cruise control out. But, but yeah, that's a, I, I honestly, it's a cool I look every time I'm out and I see a Jeep, I hadn't seen one on the road that looked like that. That's because he ordered it this way and you it's know. very unusual. I mean, it's a base Jeep, but he got the six cylinder and the T4. Kind of cool. Okay. And very unusual to see these low backs in an 83. I put the little console in, bought that off of one of those Jeep sites, uh, four wheel parts or something like that. Okay. But Dennis, that's it, man. This is a cherry. It's a cherry. From what I've seen so far, it definitely is. Yeah. Uh, the body's amazing. No oil leak. No. Now, one time I did put uh, a gasket on that valve cover. Yeah. Because you know they're plastic. Yeah, they always do. And they always. They, and I started smelling it, and I was like, oh, I better fix it. Do that. So this I, is the most common spot for rust. Yeah. I mean, we're generating a rust-free area, but they hold water right there. Well, like I said, uh, when this thing would be wet, it would be because I'd wash it. And I would try to dry it out as much as I could. You know, because it, it wasn't really nothing but shop dirt. Yeah, this will, it doesn't look like it's ever, well, I say ever, it doesn't look like it's been buffed. I mean, it's just All nice, I've nice original just, paint. Just a, uh, not a compound, but just a, a wax. And what I found, the paint was getting so old that I stopped because I didn't want to take the paint off because it, it's just old paint. And I didn't want to use this new stuff on the paint because it's. We, we have some stuff that we really like that'll bring this back. We take everything off, we clay bar it with soap, and then we buff it and wax it. But this is a 1H chestnut brown metallic, which will really brighten up. 
Okay. The other thing I was excited about when I saw this is uh, this is kind of a blank slate. Yeah. If somebody wanted me to convert this to a Renegade, really it's not that difficult. You're talking carpet, seats, rocker mornings, and stripes. Mm -hmm. Or we can make a Laredo out of it, which is considerably more difficult than we have all the parts to do that. But some guys like to see them like this, a yeah. base Jeep. Um, if I was going to go the route of base Jeep, I'd leave it as is. I'd probably put base wheels back on it and just yeah. it is what it is. It'd be easier to go backward with it because it's not far from its original. Well, the body's, the, the body's exceptional. Yeah. I mean, really, really good. This little thing here was something that I put on to run a little rack to set a nice chest on. But this just bolts. I didn't drill anything. It just went back in the factory bolts. It's very common for the corners to be damaged or not. Beautiful tailgate. Does it run? Yeah. <laughs> and I fill that engine. I was going, this is my pit. Okay. You know, when I go buy something, the guys work on it and get it running right. and I show up. So we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a cold start. We're gonna have a. Uh, this Hopefully is what no I do. Right. What this is what I do. Okay. One time on the pedal. Which is what you're supposed to do on a CJ with the regional carburetor. And listen to this. <laughs> so the one time on the pedal on a cold CJ with a crank carburetor gets your stepper going. And that's exactly what they're supposed to do. Super Atlanta on all of our stuff too. Can I just run up and down the street real quick? Sure, okay. Let me have the driver off. Let's jump up So like I said, no power steering with these bigger water tires. I'm not gonna say it's a chore, but a little, little bit of a chore. But historically, we find really low mileage Jeeps. Big reason is because they don't have power steering. They're not as much fun to drive, which we'll put on there. But you can feel when you get in this Jeep, I'd say a lot of the miles were tow miles because there's almost no wear on the steering wheel at all. I can feel all the grain. Very nice, what we call a big end dash pad, which is only used on the Jeeps without the wing windows. So there's no cut in here. These are difficult to find. They're not in production. And I'm gonna say some pretty crisp gauges. <laughs> Made Zach laugh. But, so we're in 40, which is relatively close to the shop, 30 or 40 miles. Sold at Jim Alley in Dallas. When you can find a local Jeep that hasn't left our area, especially one that's been garage kept, you're talking rust free, which saves us hundreds of hours of paint work. This Jeep does not need paint. It will buff out and clean up like a shiny penny. Love this. And selling, restoring, servicing, and rescuing Jeeps since '83, and we're never going to stop. It runs great. For just a cold start like that, it's awesome. We are definitely buying this one. These are very unusual. It's code six beige low backs. And a standard rear seat that's not a full tumble. So trim level, we're very, very low. But a mechanical level, is it's nice in that it's a six cylinder and it is a T4. Again, this is what I kind of call blank slate. You can do anything with it. Leave it stock. So I'd probably put the white base wheels on it, or we can build it any way you want it. We've got an exceptional Jeep to start with. Original paint, never hit, no rust. Relatively local Texas Jeep. These are what we like to find, and the shop loves this too, because it doesn't have to be blown apart and be restored. I'm not even gonna leave it outside, I'll pull it right back in. Deal or dud? I'll tell you what, sir, that is a deal for sure, not a dud. That's the way we like to find them. Okay. How about they just pay you everything you're asking for? That's what I was expecting. <laughs> That's right, okay. That's what I was expecting. All right.
very good. Let me go get a uh, go, let me go get your check and all right. We'll be out of here, man. Um, I on. appreciate it. This is a brand new radiator. My brother gave it to me, and he had a starter. So you got a starter, a radiator, that cover, okay. and these two doors. And this, yeah, course, they always break. Broke off when I was getting it down. I had it stored up there. All right. So these but, these doors would be correct for a seventy-six to an eighty. I was gonna say th when I bought the or bought the Not Jeep, the these one. were already That's small. All. Yeah. Yep. And the door handle was a giveaway because I seen the newer models had a different door handle. Too. Yeah. And also, you could tell that this this top came with these doors uh -huh. most likely because it's a very early top. Okay. And then your screws go in right here. There's no the metal piece, right, Junior? Yeah. So yeah, that's a. Too. This is probably a 76, 77 top. Yeah. So this is a very early CJ7 top and doors. Okay. Uh, I would not put back on that Jeep. Mm -hmm. However, we'll yeah we'll you'll have, have a, we'll have a customer that needs yeah. that. There's that tow bar. Tow bar, okay. Um, I really like this. That's cool. That, that thing there. Yeah, I thought you'd like that because... Oh, that's cool vintage. I, I don't know when they shut down, Jim Alley, but uh, you remember where he was over there? Yeah. Garland Avenue. He bought a lot of stuff from him. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, that's it. All right, well, last question before we start fighting this. One, will you help us put the top on it? Uh, <laughs> listen. I'm kidding. I'll, I'll help you put it in your it. truck. I got a list here. That we'll lift it up. Uh, we'll, we'll set it on the Jeep. We'll and, and and on the Jeep. You, you want it on the Jeep? Yeah, because yeah, we'll it's, it's easier there. to transport. It's easier, yeah. Okay. Well, I put that wire on there. Just kind of, I had it hanging over here. And I hung it from the this end. And I just put that on there. To keep, I didn't want to put stress on it. So we can just cut that off. Yeah, we'll just cut that, that off. Get so get it this going to be fun, Junior. All right. I'll pull the Jeep back there and see. I don't. I, the door's probably aren't going to latch, so we'll just do the motorcycle strap. Whatever you, because it's the old school ones. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's why you're here, Junior. That's going to be fun. <laughs> really? I mean, if you want to come back and get that. Zach might have to put his, his camera down. No, we'll get it. We'll okay. get it. Is this that, is, that this is the hardest thing we do today. It's an easy day. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Well, I was talking well, that. Well, I've been over here in a warehouse hanging a unit here because this big cold spell is coming. It is coming. And, uh, I'm going to pull the Jeep off the back. Okay. Now we're going to start the nothing is easy category. <laughs> so the bikini top obviously has to come off and we've got to get the channel off the top of the windshield frame or the hard top won't set down on the windshield frame. Not a big deal. But I'll tell you, we'll let Junior do this because he's a master at it and I'm going to go get the paperwork. <laughs> Those books came with this. And that little key that's in there is to those wheels. Original owner's manual. All these lug nuts are locks. Okay. So that tool right there unlocks. Original receipt when you bought it in 91? Yeah, that's the tax. Service specification book for 83. Very cool. And a Texas title, which is great. That's the other way you can tell a Jeep has been wrecked. It's been wrecked, hard top won't go on, right, Junior? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good thing. Yeah. No wreck. Love I'm, it. I'm gonna go get the bolts. Well, sir, thank you for being such a phenomenal yeah. caretaker of this thing. Yeah. Has this 91. Yeah. 33 years, if my math is correct today. I appreciate it. You're right. You're right. It's welcome. going to a good home. I, I know promise you're you we'll step it up another couple levels now that it's not beautiful already. Well, send it to me when okay. you do. We'll I'd do. like to know where it goes, what happens. Not a problem. You know. I mean, it's either going to go just totally back to base model original, which will be the white base steel wheels, with one piece of carpet in the front, and a few other things taken off of it, or we'll go bananas with it, make it a Renegade mm -hmm. or a Laredo. Yeah. Um, and for those of you out there watching, let me know which way you think we should go, base, Renegade, or Laredo. Last question. Where's your favorite local place to eat in Forney? In Forney. Uh, probably Mama Daughter's Diner. Oh, Can't beat that, can you? No. 
Like, Anything that says mama daughter's daughter, you gotta do that. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. That's his home cooking, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. All right, sir, we're yeah. gonna get out of your hair. All right, my friend. Thanks for your time. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right, Ugo, you know what you want? Kind of. You want me to go first? Yes. <laughs> Scary. I'm gonna do the meatloaf okay. uh, with two eggs over easy on top, mashed potatoes with gravy, green beans, coleslaw, and I'm gonna add one extra fried okra. So you want the two eggs over easy on top of the meatloaf? Yes, ma'am. Fried okra and uh, crispy hash browns. Beat that, Junior. Maybe. I get a club sandwich, turkey, no mayo. I don't think you won. <laughs> no. <laughs> Grilled chicken. Right here. I forgot what I ordered. You got a club sandwich with french fries. Yes. Awesome. Are you gonna eat all that? I'm gonna try to eat it all. I'm hoping to save room for a pie. Yes, you should have had pie first. I should have had the pie yeah, first? Gotta do dessert first. Oh, I don't know. This meat love <laughs> looks pretty strong. Y'all need anything else, guys? Uh, I think we're perfect for now. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Enjoy. Meat loaf, two eggs over easy, a little bit of pepper, crispy hash browns, green beans, okra, coleslaw, mashed potatoes, and gravy. I don't know. It needs some potatoes. I'm gonna go with mashed. Normally I would go with hash browns, but oh, upside down and backwards, that is fantastic. So the meatloaf sauce is it kind of has a ketchupy taste, which I absolutely love. All right, I'm going to get after it. Stay tuned, we're going to try some pies. <laughs> All right, I see the sign right there that says, lick the plate. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty close. You're, you're there. That's outstanding. Y'all's meatloaf is great. It is good. It's one of the my eggs really ones. add. I love the mashed potatoes and gravy. I've never had anyone have it with eggs, though. So, so good. First, All right, right we're, <laughs> since we're in Mama's Daughter's Diner, and y'all are famous for pie, too, right? Yeah. What do you have today? Uh, I've got chocolate, coconut, or strawberry banana and meringue. One of each. One of each. Yes, ma'am. Ah, that was so good. I highly recommend it. Coconut. Strawberry banana. Strawberry banana. I don't know if I've ever had strawberry banana oh, pie. That one's my favorite. Is that your favorite? Yeah, it's a little different. It's well, good. so I'm going to end with that then. Outstanding coconut. Definitely homemade. Chocolate's great too. Tastes like the uh, silk chocolate. Strawberry banana. I take two utensils to get a proper bite of that. Wow. Tastes exactly like it should and exactly like it sounds. I'm going to have to have another bite of that. It's like you had a strawberry shortcake on top of a banana cream pie. Now that was a proper cheat meal. <laughs> Mama's Daughter's Diner in Forty, Texas. <laughs> that was a proper cheat meal. Mama's Daughter's Diner, it was great. Highly recommend the meat love, two eggs over easy on top, mashed potatoes with gravy in every pie. So like I said, this is an early top. Dimensionally, it will fit anything 76 to 86 CJ. The date on this top is 76, so first year, really nice condition, no overhead light. So this top of door is gonna come off this Jeep because it's not correct for it, one. But it'd be very nice for somebody restored in an early 76, 77 especially, that wants the correct top. It actually fits correctly up here on the windshield frame. It doesn't have a metal spacer. So again, I believe it's like a 76, 77 top. 76 date code, nice set of doors. But they're coming off, we just put them on to transport it.
As always, please like, share, and follow, and most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next week.